from The Heart of the Freljord, a biography from League of Legends. Read to you by Prestige Edition. Even as a child, Brom was much larger than other Freljordian youngsters, but his mother taught him never to use his size to intimidate or bully. She came from a proud line of herders and believed true courage lay in using one's power not to dominate, but to protect those in need. When Brom was still a boy, ice giants devastated a neighboring tribe. That tribe had long preyed upon the herds of Brahm's people, but his mother didn't hesitate to head out across the tundra to help the survivors, bearing furs, foodstuffs, and healing supplies. At first, Brahm didn't understand why she would aid their rivals, but after her actions saved many lives, they became lifelong allies. He finally understood what his mother meant when she said all the Freljord's people were a family and from that day forth, he pledged to bring that family together. As Brom grew, it was clear he was one of the revered Iceborn, though even among their number, his strength and ability to endure the elements were legendary. He became a local hero, rescuing children who had slipped into icy ravines, saving travelers stranded in blizzards, and protecting families from ravaging wild claws. Whenever he appeared, people knew help had arrived. He was a figure of hope, known for his liveliness and laughter and the easy way he made friends. Eventually, Brahm realized he was needed beyond the valleys and tundra where he'd been raised. Bidding his mother a tearful farewell, he set out to travel the Freljord. Over the years, Countless stories spread of Brahm's mighty feats and good deeds. While most had at least a kernel of truth, they grew increasingly far-fetched and mythic, such as the legend of how he chopped down an entire forest in a single night using only his bare hands, or how, during a volcanic eruption, he saved an isolated farmstead by picking it up and carrying it to higher ground. A more recent tale spoke of how Brom found his immense ram-headed shield. As the story went, it was an enchanted vault door forged in ancient times and set into a mountain. Brom heard cries from within, but he couldn't break the door down. Undeterred, he punched his way through the mountain's bare rock, rescuing a troll boy who was trapped inside. He ripped the unbreakable door off its hinges and has borne it, ever since. As with many legends about him, Brom laughed uproariously when he first heard this particular tale. But far from refuting such stories, he embraces them. Why let the truth get in the way of inspiring others to acts of generosity and kindness? No matter how he actually found his shield, soon afterward, Brom made his way to the sacred site of Racklestake where many tribes had gathered to hear the words of the Avarosan war mother, Ash, said to be the reincarnation of Avarosa herself. There, he witnessed the barbarian Trindamir, desperate to prove his worth, savagely beating any who would face him. As Brom watched, he saw that Trindamir was growing increasingly unhinged. During one duel, he was so lost in his fury that it seemed certain he would kill his opponent, despite having already prevailed. Deciding things had gone far enough, Brom planted himself in front of the downed fighter, shield raised, and Trindamir hacked and smashed against the impenetrable bulwark. When the barbarian's rage finally subsided, Brom's good humor won him over, and before long, the pair were laughing and drinking to each other's health. Some even say it was Brom who first introduced Trindamir to Ash. The barbarian would later marry her, becoming her only bloodsworn. Brom doesn't hold any particular tribal allegiance, for he views all within the Freljord as brothers and sisters. Even so, he sees in Ash 
someone who can end the centuries-old feuding among the Freljord's tribes, and the Avarosans have informally adopted him into their number. Brahm's dream, as he often tells adoring children, is that someday the Freljord will be united in one big family, and then he can retire to become a humble Poro herder. Though Brahm counts no one as his enemy, he has had a few run-ins with the Frost Guard since he started carrying his shield. He doesn't understand why they have a grudge against him, nor why they seem so interested in what he now bears. Thanks for listening. All credit for these stories goes to Riot Games and League of Legends. Full details can be found in the video description. If you enjoyed this production, please hit like and subscribe. There's a lot more coming.